This is a vampire tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Oh my god, those teeth are freaking awful. Um, this is the look that I'm going to transform into, um, in this video. I hope you enjoy it, um, as much as I enjoyed painting my face for you guys. Happy Halloween! To start off today's look, I'm going to start with a foundation that is quite a bit lighter than my skin tone because vampires have kind of pale skin. And I'm going to take that on my Real Techniques buffing brush and work that into my skin. First I'm just going to stipple it on and then I'm going to start buffing it out. Now depending on how white you want your face to look, you could either um, use a NYX Jumble Pencil and Milk in certain areas to kind of um, work that in to your foundation and make your skin lighter, but I'm just going to use some Kryolan Clown White, so I'm just going to stipple it onto my brush and pat it on my highlight points. I'm also going to go ahead and highlight under my jawbone so that when I contour later it's just going to be a little bit extra. Now that I'm ghoulishly white, I'm going to take my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and set my entire foundation all at once. I'm just going to use a little powder puff and just pounce it all over my skin. After you have the powder all over your face, you want to make sure that you have no wet spots. So just to ensure this, I'm going to take my little kabuki brush, go straight into my powder, tap it off, and just buff it all together and blend. I'm just going to take my everyday um, eyebrow pencil, which is a Jordana Fabi Brow, um, and it's just in dark brown, and I'm just going to start to map out my eyebrows. Um, these eyebrows I want to be kind of thick, so I'm just starting at the right up in this area, and I'm going to bring it up to about there. Now before I finish this arch, I'm going to move on to this eyebrow just to make sure it's pretty close to similar. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line right on each eyebrow. And that's pretty much how thick they're going to be. And then you just start to fill it in. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the tail of my brow real quick. So I'm going to go ahead, take my eyebrow pencil, go above the line that I already have, and make kind of like a little dot so that I know how high I want my arch to be. So I'm going to take my pencil right above that line and bring it down and connect with the rest of my eyebrow. Okay, I just went ahead and put on my wig cap because my hair was starting to look crazy, okay? So I'm going to start with a little bit of contour. But I think I'm just going to start out with my regular contour color, which is my favorite contour color that I've ever used. Um, it's my L'Oreal True Match. Um, it's in C8 Cocoa. Now I'm going to use my um, new Real Techniques um, contour brush and just start working lightly where I have that little contour already. I'm going to start light and then 
go darker. So I'm just going to spin it around, get a little bit on the tip of my brush, and just start to carve out my cheeks. If you don't know where your cheekbones are, you take a brush, make the fish face, go from the fish face, and feel where your cheekbones are. Okay, so you want the heaviest concentration of color um, farthest away from your face. So after you have that straight line, you kind of want to make a triangle and go up into your hairline and just kind of make a triangle from right there, if you can see that. Um, and the next place that I'm going to contour, now that I have just a little bit of contour on my cheekbones, is I'm going to contour my temples. Now this um, Real Techniques contour brush is really good for smaller details, um, but I have to use my trusty um, e.l.f. blush brush. This is like my favorite ever. Now, when it comes to your hairline, I notice that when a lot of people contour, they have their dark um, contour here, and then you can kind of see through their hairs and it's white. I actually hate when I can see the white of my scalp, so I just kind of press my contour color into my hairline. Now, my favorite place when I contour is contouring my double chin. So, a trick that I do, I don't know if anyone does this, is I tilt my head back and I just start here and just kind of bring it back. Okay, very important. When contouring your chin, you don't want to bring the contour color up in this area right here because when you do that, instead of having a straight jaw, you're going to make kind of like a W, and it's just going to make you look like you have a big chunk of meat just hanging out, and you just want to hide it. Oh my god, I just lost 100 pounds. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to tilt my head back. You can see how this one is kind of a little bit lower than this jaw. So I take my powder, and I just kind of make sure that it's symmetrical on each side. Um, I also tend to bring my contour color pretty much all the way down my neck. Um, and that's only because I see people contour their jaw and they only have color like an inch and you can definitely see that it's fake and I like to be a little bit safer and just hide it as much as I can and just blend everything together, darling. Now, in my mind, vampires are going to have a lot of black on their face. So I'm going to take um, this very lovingly used Wet n' Wild palette called Blue Had Me at Hello, number <laughs> 737, and I'm just going to take um, either one of these two blacks. I'm just going to use the matte one and add a little bit of black to my contour, darling. So I'm going to use this um, base shadow brush. This is actually from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to use the same contour color and start to contour my nose. Okay, so later when I go onto the eyeshadow, I'm going to kind of concentrate a lot of the color right here at the front of the brow, um, bring it kind of down, and then bring it over here. So I'm just going to use um, the brown color from my nose just to continue up to make it look like my nose isn't kind of like floating with the contour. And concentrate a lot of the color right here at the front of my eyebrow underneath. 
and I want the entire lid to be covered with the brown, and I'm going to go over it with black a little bit later. I'm going to take this color right here, it's called Sable, it's just like a dark brown. Um, it kind of looks like the same color as my contour, but it's a lot more pigmented, so it's going to kind of intensify what I need it to intensify. So first I'm just going to pack it on my lid, again with the beige shadow brush from Real Techniques. Okay, so I'm going to go a step darker and take the espresso color next to it. So again, espresso just right where the sable was. So a lot on the inner corner and then building up towards the brow. Okay, on for the grand finale. I'm going to take um, the same base shadow brush, just kind of shake it off, and take my matte black color and pack it all over your lid. Alright, so I haven't even touched my brow bone yet, um, and this is kind of like my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to take a really tiny detailer brush, um, this is another Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to use my clown white under my brow bone, but I'm not going to bring the clown white all down to what I've already done. It's just going to be right above, and then I'm going to blend it down just a little. Now, so that I can avoid uh, using a million eyeshadow brushes for this, I'm going to take um, the brush that I used before and just kind of wipe it off in some tissue paper. This is just toilet paper because I'm classy. Now, I'm just going to take this cream color, it's called cream, and just go right over that clown white. Okay, so if you remember, I haven't even touched my brows since I put them on um, with my eyebrow pencil. And now I'm going to go in, actually I want to go in with the black because I want to have really dramatic eyebrows. Um, and I'm just going to use the same black that I used for my contour. With an angle, like a baby angled brush. Um, I want my eyebrows darker back here and then a tad bit lighter right here you'll see okay so now that my brows are darker towards the tail end I'm gonna bring the black under the front of my brow, that way it's kind of darkest underneath, and it goes around, so it's going to be lighter up here than it is down here. Is I want to define um, my cheekbones again with powder, so underneath I'm going to take my little poof a poof again, into my translucent powder and I'm going to take and just kind of slide it under my contour. I'm going to go ahead and take the powder on my cheekbones again just to 
make it a little lighter. Okay, so if you're not looking butamous yet, you're doing something wrong. So while I'm waiting for my cheeks to cook, I'm going to cook up a little something on my lips, and it's going to be butamous and vampirishalicious. Okay, so the first lip liner that I'm going to use is one by L'Oreal. It's a six-hour infallible never-fail lip liner, and it's in the color Red Wine, and it's dark and butamous and lovely. So... The lips that I want to do, um, I uploaded a picture to my Instagram of my face chart for this look. Um, so, if you recall, my lips kind of went up a little bit over here, and they kind of made a happy face. I don't know. I'll show you. I always start out on my top lip for some reason. I don't know why. And go ahead and fill in your entire lip with the red wine color pencil. Okay, so now to get the happy little um, upper lip, it's kind of like a cartoonish kind of lip, I'm going to take my pencil and make a little line like that. Now you don't want to make the line too big, otherwise you're going to look crazy. So take that and kind of round it up and blend it in with the rest of the lip liner. Let's see how that gives it kind of like a little bit of a cartoonish kind of look. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, overdraw my bottom lip, not too, too far down. Um, about that far below my lip. And fill your entire bottom lip in with the red wine colored pencil. Okay, so of course, you know me, the lips are not even close to done. I'm going to scavenge around and find my black eyeliner pencil. Found it! <laughs> um, I'm going to intensify the color um, around this area to just add even more depth. And once we put lipstick on over this, it's going to blend even more. I'm not even going to worry about blending it right now. Now, in the picture that I saw this um, look, it kind of like had dark inside the lips, and then it had a highlight, and then it had dark again. So I'm just going to take my black inside right here. So attractive, right? And I'm going to smushy smush it around. So I'm going to take a red lipstick. This one is by Wet n Wild. It is just... 514A, um, and it's just a bloody red color lipstick, and I'm just going to put it all over. So I'm going to take my black pencil again and just go inside, just to intensify it even more. Now, the last thing I'm going to do to my lips is, since I already have um, the little detailer brush that I use to highlight my brow, I'm going to take my clown white again, just a tiny bit, um, and not where the black is, just in between this and that. So right here. So, finishing touches. Dust off where you had your foundation cooking. And of course you can always add some lip gloss. So I'm just gonna dab it on and mush it around with my lips.
I didn't even put on blush. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take this cheapy cheap little blush. Um and a I'm actually just gonna use it right on my kabuki brush. That way it's super blendabilitishness did did. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to do to finish off my makeup is, um, clearly a vampire has to have a little bit of shine, right? So I'm going to take, I guess, just this nude shimmery color right on my cheekbone. Just to give you a little bit of shine, darling. So, if you're on stage, it's going to catch the light. And you're gorgeous! So I'm going to put a wig on and come back. Oh, by the way, this whole look took an hour and 18 minutes. Ta-da! So here's the final look in all of its vampy glory. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I haven't done a transformation tutorial in forever! Like, since April, I believe. Um, and the only thing you need to complete this look is some very realistic fangs. Ah. Subscribe, motherfucker!